praise him. For I found out there's none like him. He never slumber, he never sleeps. He sit high, he looks low, he's everywhere, he's all known, he got all the power, that's none like him. We serve a great God. Yes, we do. I come to find out when you're in the service of the Lord, stuff can happen in the service of the Lord. Healing can take place in the service of the Lord. Equipping can take place in the service. Encouraging can take place. Deliverance can take place in the service of the Lord. Acts chapter 9 this morning. Acts chapter 9. Starting at the first verse. Acts chapter 9, starting at the first verse. And Saul, yet breathing out threatening and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, where they were men or women he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem and as he journeyed he came near Damascus and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven and he fell to the earth and he heard a voice saying unto him Saul Saul why persecuted thou me and he said why who art thou Lord and the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecuted. It is hard for thee to kick against pricks the word of God for the people of God. I want to talk briefly about just, just five minutes about a personal encounter. A personal encounter. All throughout the Bible, we see individuals having encounters with God and with Jesus. Am I right about it? And if I had time this morning, I would tell you about Moses' encounter when he was tending the flock. It changed him. Didn't Moses lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? It changed him. If I had time, I'd tell you about Abraham this morning. Y'all know about Father Abraham. He told him to leave your land to go to a land that I will show you. He had an encounter with God. If I had time this morning, I'd tell you about a personal encounter by Jacob at Pernil when he wrestled with the angel. Oh, yeah, yeah, it changed him. His hip got out of socket and he held on to God. If I had time this morning, I tell you about getting his multiple encounters with God. Where he took 32,000, dropped it down to 300. If I had time this morning, he took pitcher, torches, and a trumpet, and he was victorious in battle. If I had time this morning, can I go to the New Testament real quick this morning? I'm going to talk about the New Testament. Zacchaeus had a personal encounter with God, with Jesus for salvation. Yes, he did. Nicodemus had an encounter at nighttime because he wanted to know about salvation. The woman with the issue of blood had an encounter with Jesus. She wanted to be healed. Blind Bartimaeus had an encounter with Jesus to restore his sight. I'm talking about a personal encounter this morning. The woman, the woman, the Samaritan woman met Jesus at Jacob's well. And she said, come see a man who told me all about myself. A personal encounter, that's what I'm talking about. And what I just read to you this morning, I'm talking about Saul. You know who Saul was, a persecutor of Christians. And he met Jesus on Damascus Road. He went from persecutor to a preacher for Christ. I'm talking about a personal encounter. Can I tell you about a personal encounter? It'll change your life for the rest of your life. That's what a personal encounter with Jesus do. It'll change your life. It'll make you different. A personal encounter will change your life. It'll transform your life. It will purpose your life. It will direct your life. A personal encounter with Jesus will do something to you. The steps of a good man is all about the Lord. I know I'm right about it. You're looking at one right now whose life has been changed. A personal encounter with Jesus, you'll never be the same. It'll change your life for the rest of, the rest of your life. You're looking at me. I've been changed. Oh, yeah, yeah, personal encounter with Jesus. Can I tell you what else it'll do? It'll strip you of, the, of that old evil nature and them wicked deeds and clothe you with a brand new nature. How that's continually being renewed as you learn more and more about Christ. If you had a personal encounter, you ought to put your hands together. 
If you know you've been changed, you ought to clap your hand. You ought to give him some praise. If you made him for yourself, you ought to give him some praise. If he's a way maker in your life, you ought to give him some praise. Huh? A personal account will have you known that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you, that shall condemn. A personal encounter with Jesus will have you say, if God be for me, who can be against me? A personal encounter with Jesus will tell you, is there anything too hard for God? A personal encounter with Jesus say, he'll never leave me nor forsake me. He'll be with me always. I'm talking about a personal encounter. With him. It'll make a difference. Experience him. Meet him for yourself. Run across him. You'll never be the same. I'm not the same that I used to be. If you knew me back in them days, oh my goodness. But I met him for myself. And I know now deep down in my heart that my future is secure and my destiny is certain. Let's pray. Gracious and eternal God, our Father. Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, we come to say thank you this morning. Lord God, we, we thank you for all that you've done for us. We thank you for all that you're doing right now, Lord. And then, Lord, we want to just go ahead on and thank you in advance for all that you're going to do. For we realize that it's through you that we live, move, and have our being. Lord, we come to just to bless your name today. We just come to magnify you, Lord. We just come to lift you up. We just come to give you some praise for a daughter worthy God. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord, of all our praise. Holy are you, O oh God. Righteous are you. Just are you. Gracious God. Merciful God. Forgiving God. And Lord, we say, we ask that you would forgive us now for our shortcomings. Forgive us, Lord, for we had not lined up with your holiness and your righteousness. Lord, you said if we confess our faults that you are faithful and just to forgive us and to clean us from all unrighteousness. Wash us with hyssop. Make us white as snow. Renew in us a steadfast spirit a spirit that we can go on a little further in you oh lord we're going a little higher in you lord lord we thank you for your love oh god yes oh god we thank you for loving us while we were yet sinners we thank you for taking us out of darkness and bringing us into your marvelous light we thank you for strength to go over mountains we thank, the way, thank you the way you kept us in valleys, oh God. Lord, we don't know where we'd be without you. But we're so glad that you're on our side. You're on our side, Lord, for we know that you have kept all your promises. You have made ways out of no ways, oh God. You're a miracle worker, oh God. You're a lifter of bow down heads. You're a mind regulator, oh God. You're a heart fixer. You're a soul consoler, oh God. We thank you for being all those things, oh God. We bless your name on today. Thank you for this time that we have spent in service already, oh God. We pray that we can go higher in you. We pray that we can go higher in you, oh God. We pray that we can go higher in you, Lord. We pray that we can worship you in spirit and truth this morning, oh God. We pray now, Lord, for a fresh anointing. Let your anointing fall on this place, O oh God. For we know the anointing destroys every yoke. Bless us on today. Bless the man of God. 
Bless your word, O oh God. Let it go forth. Let ears hear and let hearts receive that we may leave this place and never be the same. Thank you for your word, O oh God, which is a lamp and a light. Thank you for your word, O oh God. Let your word be in our hearts that we not sin against thee. We love you, Lord. And we thank you for the experience of a personal encounter that has truly changed our life for the rest of our lives. We love you now, Lord. We pray for those that are less fortunate. We pray for the unconcerned. We pray for the careless. We pray for those that don't know you in the part of their sins. We pray for the sick and the shut in in the name of Jesus, oh God. Just one touch. And we know everything's going to be all right. If it's in thy will, heal, Lord. Heal right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Bless our efforts on this spot of ground. Oh Lord, let love flow in this place. Let unity abide in this place. For we truly are our brother's keepers. Let love flow, God. So the world can see that we truly your disciples. Thank you for your spirit, oh God, that abides within us. Thank you for your spirit that leads and guides us, oh God. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Let every heart say amen. 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 Experience Jesus for yourself. Not what grandma told you, mama told you, brother told you, uncle told you. Experience him for yourself. And then you will truly see that the Lord is good. Not some of the time, but he's good all the time. And that he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you think. Right. You got to experience him for yourself. If you experience him for yourself, let's give him one more hand clap of praise. If you experience Jesus for yourself.